Okay, hi everyone. In this video, this is part two of the review of the Black Rapid Bondage Gear. Um, it's called the Black Rapid Double R Strap. Um, and this is to see more what it's like whenever it's been worn. And um, there's still a couple straps which I'm still not 100% sure what they're for. There's bits up there, maybe that's for the additional extra straps that you can get. Uh, however, I think this double R you can actually use as a single, but I'll try that later on. Just now, I'm going to test this out as if I was doing a wedding. Now, normally if I am shooting a wedding, I'll probably have, I'll, well, I'll always have two cameras with me. Whether I'll have them out all the time is a different matter. I might have one in my camera bag, because I know when I need the longer lens, like whenever it's the speeches and I can't get quite as close as normal, I know I'll need the longer lens. But normally I just have it so there's one camera over her shoulder, and another camera over my neck. Now this one's got quite a short strap, so that one's always going to be there, or I'm going to have uh, the big guy, uh, The this is a much longer strap. So I'd always say a longer strap is better, and the Black Rapid is a much longer strap. But so far, I haven't found a situation where that is either uncomfortable, even for a whole wedding shoot, um, camera right here, or then bring it right up, or if I know I'm not going to be using this camera for a while, I'll just bring it over and still, I'm shooting like that. There's not much problem going straight like there. It's absolutely fine and that's me fine for walking around. If I then think, right, there's going to be shots where I need the long lens, you know, if I'm needing instant action, black rabbit straight up. But normally, I just kind of go Ugh, like that and start shooting with this. Normally I'm at the back of the church so nobody sees me doing that really stupid face. Okay, so now if I'm doing a, a wedding, uh, I'm usually dressed, I've usually got a tie on as well. But so far, what I do like is the fact that you can't really, well I don't know, I don't know, can you really see that it looks like I've got big lumps up in my shoulders up here. Um, normally I just carry my cameras like how you saw in the, just a minute ago, um, but here it's actually very comfortable. Okay, I'll absolutely give it that. It feels strange having these things kind of strapped all the way around my back. It's kind of a, a weird contraption. It does feel like you're about to go skydiving or if you're kind of going to do like abseiling and stuff like that. The one thing about this, whenever I'm shooting a wedding, I'm buttoned up. So if I'm trying to go whoppa, bring my camera up, I'm bringing my whole jacket up here. So for a wedding, I don't know. I'm always going to have to have it unbuttoned and walking around like that. So I suppose that's not too much of an issue. The next thing is I'm going to have to take off these straps because now I've just got my cameras hanging away down there. I will say that it does definitely feel very secure. So whenever I've brought the camera up and I'm shooting, I can just let go there. Now I'm shooting, this is a D700 with the 7200mm lens and I've attached it with the fastener to the actual lens part here. So I could still put a, a tripod mount on the bottom of my camera here which could be helpful. Um, and on then on the other side, I've got this one. So it's my D, uh, my Fuji S5 Pro, and the 70, no, the 28 to 75 millimeter uh, Tokina lens, no Tamron lens. And this is fitted in the bottom. The fastener is in the bottom. And for me, like the, when you have it strapped over, I would always kind of go down this way, I think. So I've got a wedding coming up this week, so I'll be able to give you a proper kind of uh, idea of what I think of it. Now with, I don't know what it looks like at the back, you know, if these straps are really sticking out uh, and if that's going to look a little bit odd if I'm walking around and it looks like I've got these kind of big bits hanging out the back here. So, not 100% sure if it is definitely wedding material equipment. Because um, I need, definitely need to have this unbuttoned and I usually always like to be buttoned up. Um, uh, but yeah, in terms of, for example, where it is, down at the hip, yeah that's an okay position, but it does mean that I'm taking up extra space. So if I'm trying to squeeze past anyone, I can't just lift my camera up, well I suppose I could lift up one camera, but then it might have to be hanging up two. And I think it just takes a little while for you to be able to get to the point where you are just kind of going right hand up to here, taking a photo, because you're only ever going to take photos with one camera at a time. So it's always going to be right hand there, straight up and over here left hand straight up. So it is kind of quick access. However, because where this is, 
on where my suit jacket is, it kind of gets stuck a little bit there. Okay, well, we'll see that so far. The other thing to do is, uh, whenever I do a lot of wedding stuff, I may be kneeling down. And again, that's okay. It's not hitting anything off the floor. Um, so yeah, so that is how it's looking now. And that, that, that's, a, that's a heavy amount of equipment I've got, I've got going on here. Um, usually by the end of a wedding I'm always absolutely drenched in sweat uh, from just running around and getting all the shots. And, uh, and, but that, that doesn't look very professional. You always want everything to be tucked in, but I, I can't see what it looks like at the back to see if that just looks kind of ridiculous or not. Yeah. Um, but weight-wise, yeah, it feels good. Feels feels fine up on the shoulders, but I will still be taking my camera rucksack for whenever I'm doing weddings. So I'll have all my other flashes and lenses in there. So is that just going to be too much on me all the time? We'll see. And then there's the, the final option of wearing it on top of the suit. Now, this one, I, I feel a bit weird about having it on top of my suit because it kind of, I think it makes me look like somebody from a SWAT team or, so, or somebody that's just like abseiled into the wedding uh, and has got all this kit on top and it just kind of looks like I'm not here to take photos, I'm here to do the window cleaning and abseil from the sides of the church. Um, and what I've also added on is this extra strap here which kind of brings it in more in the middle which I don't know if that's any good. But yeah, so if I were to now attach it on again. Okay, so now there's also a little bit of like, with this bit in the middle, I can have it so it's a little bit less even, with this one lower, this one higher, or I can move it a little bit more that way as well. But, I kind of feel like it's a bit too much. Uh, like, I kind of also think it kind of looks like I'm somebody who's suffered a car accident and I need all this strapping on my body to make sure I don't dislocate my spine or something. It just seems a little bit too much, but... Um, so yeah, any wedding photographers out there, do you wear this on top of your suit? Uh, and if you do, how do you feel about it? Do you get any funny looks from people just kind of going, whoa, he's got like way too much gear on the go? Because the fact it's going to be this, and it's going to be my camera bag. Hold on. So this is normally the rucksack which I take if I'm uh, going doing any shots. And already this has got a lot of kind of handles and bars and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be all this and then this on as well. I'm going to have my extra batteries, my extra flashes and that. And I kind of feel like <laughs> ready for war. Uh, you know, if, if I was going into a war zone, this is how I'd want to be packed up. I feel pretty... I feel really secure in this. I feel that I could go onto a rugby pitch and somebody could tackle me and I'd just like bounce off of me because I've got so many straps and everything holding me together. Uh, especially when I then bring this one back on as well. And I'm shooting like that. So, yeah, you could do, use it all. I really don't want to take off my original straps just because, you know, there is a reason why the camera makers made these things at the side. And it's a bit of a shame to make these completely redundant and use something which is already used for my tripod mount. Although I do hear you can get different kind of bits there, but that's another thing that you're going to have to buy afterwards. Um, so yeah, they are nice and long. They are a good bit lower down. They are at hand height there. But is it a bit too much for a wedding? That's, that's what I'm saying. This is my wedding gear. I'm going to go out walking around town just now and see what it's like just walking around. Um, again, it's a bit overkill for the big 70 and the, the other, all these cameras here. So yeah, tell me what you think. Do you, do you think, is this all too much overkill? Because certainly, I've always, so far I've always done it with just the cameras around my neck. And does this, does this just look a little bit untidy? A bit, a bit not right for a wedding, especially at the back as well. Tell me what you think. So let's say I'm going to be changing my lenses. Now it says you should take your cameras off this, um, but it also says you can actually do it on your camera. And so you just unhook the straps from the fasteners and put it down there. Now the bit I'm worried about is if I take off my lens here, Put that over there, 
rest my camera down. It's falling down forward. Oh, can I rest like that? Mm, I'm not too sure if I'm happy about that. In fact, I'm a little bit nervous about that. And same with this one. Okay, wanting to swap. And again, a kind of very easy to fall over onto their front and I don't really want that to happen too much uh, because that is just going to give me a waft of air as they fall down and also potentially kicking up the dust from whatever surface I've put them down on. Okay so now the next thing <clears throat> I want to see is how well you can change lenses on this because I've just found out that if you have these little bolts on the bottom of your cameras and you put your cameras down to change your lenses, your cameras are going to fall over and they're going to fall over onto usually their sensor area which could just mean a whole pile of dust uh, can be getting into your camera. So one of the things they say is good about this is the fact that you can do lens swapping, ooh, lens swapping while you've got your cameras just hanging down here. Let's just try it if I'm wanting to swap my fisheye just with my other lens. So if we taking that one off. Yikes, that's it against my clothes. Not too keen on that. And then let's see, let's take this one off. Okay, so there's a, an example of how you can swap lenses from camera to camera. Just, I would say, have them facing out the way if you're doing it. The other thing is you're going to have to quickly learn how to like, put your lens back onto your camera in an upside down position. So you can actually remember, right, that's the way I twist it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I suppose you can do it that way as well. So today I've been testing out the uh, double R strap um, and I've got it all on and I've been around to an Edinburgh festival show um, and I've also wanted to bring my tripod because I'm doing some filming with it but whenever you're walking with your tripod you can't stick it down your side at all. Kim, I've actually got Kim holding my tripod now. So whenever you're walking with this you have to have it kind of under your armpit or just kind of holding it out in front of you. So that's where I was, again, I've got two cameras I'd rather just stick them in an over the shoulder bag, like what I normally have. There's also a slight worry with the fact that whenever I'm walking around, the cameras are bouncing off the sides of my hips. And if I'm just a bit worried that it's gonna knock the lens caps off or even the lens hoods off the actual cameras as well. So I'm very conscious of that just now. Yep, so without a doubt, I'd have to say that if I am carrying two cameras, on, or one camera on each side, I will definitely, and I'm taking a tripod, I will want to put the cameras in an over the shoulder bag so that I'm not having to walk with my tripod in front of me. Because there's a camera on each side, I can't just hang my arm down without it bashing off the camera at the side. Um, so maybe I just need to adjust it so it's a little bit higher or a little bit lower. But for me, again, I'm gonna have to start taking the fastener out. And these little things are dark. And if I'm shooting in a dark location, like a, where was I? I was just in a festival venue, uh, indoor nightclub kind of thing, and I'm going from a fastener to a uh, tripod mount, then I'm still gonna be losing those little guys. Um, fortunately I got a spare one uh, as well, but yeah, going from that to that, again these things are all black and very hard to see in the, in the 
dark light, but if you don't have to change it, if you're just using your normal camera strap, stay with that. Don't bother getting fasteners where you have to unscrew them and they're tiny little black things which you're just so gonna lose. Um, yeah, much rather have my stuff not on that, but in an over the shoulder camera bag. It's much more what I would want. I'm just putting that over there. Then I know while I'm walking around, it's not bouncing off my hips. Well, the bag may be bouncing off my hips, but the bag has got a lot of cushioning. Okay, so right, from today, I've been shooting uh, around the Edinburgh Festival, and having a camera on either side of me, I've found has not been that great walking through crowds. Whenever I've been walking through crowds, I've pretty much had to kind of hold my cameras in front of me, doing it walking like that. Now, that becomes especially annoying if I'm also trying to carry a tripod. Because, because both your cameras are here, you have to hold your tripod in front of you or you have to like hold it underneath an arm and try and walk around like that. Um, so that's where I would just say, sticking your cameras into like an over the shoulder bag is so much better because you can just put it in there and then you can have your other hand holding your tripod just hanging down here instead of it bashing off your camera. And the other thing is, I say putting your stuff into an over-the-shoulder bag, once it's in there, it's really secure, it's really padded, it's really safe. It means if you bounce it off a person walking past you, they're just hitting your bag. If you bounce off a wall, it's just hitting the, the cushions there. It's also cushioned. Meanwhile, just now, after walking around town all day, I feel I'm going to get two bruises in the side of my hips from my heavy cameras bouncing into the sides of me like that. So. I wouldn't say it's actually been as comfortable around my shoulders, there's no doubting that. But actually, if you do a lot of walking, and if you've got two heavy cameras hanging down from you, I'm getting pretty sore hips with these bouncing here. Maybe I need to relearn how to walk in some way where, you know, nothing is bouncing off my hips or anything like that. But I haven't even had big heavy lenses on, but maybe if I had the 7200mm lens, it'd be a real whack in the side I'd get every time I was walking. And for that reason, I also mean you can't really go running with it either. If you start running with that, you are battering your cameras off your sides. And the next thing is, because it's in the bottom of your camera, if it starts raining, you know, if my cameras are inside my bag here, I don't need to worry about it. This is fully waterproof. Well, not waterproof, but rainproof. And I just wonder if digital cameras have been weather sealed, which all my cameras are effectively very well weather sealed, but were they weather sealed for upside downness? So in other words, I know if I have rain pouring down the top, all these seals are absolutely perfect, but is the battery seal, this is the one bit which I can see water getting into, is that as well sealed as all the bits on top? So again, if it's raining, even if I have an umbrella and water is dripping down, it's dripping down here, it's going down there, and you can see already at an angle, it's going to be going towards the, the one bit where there's a proper hinge and not very well water protected, I don't think. Also, this is where all the metal compartments are, or metal parts are for if you're having the additional battery grips. And I've lost the little rubber stamp that goes in there ages ago, in fact, within the first 10 minutes of having a camera. Um, I usually just chuck them away. So again, if I'm having that upside down, that is like electronic components up to the weather. Which again, if I'm shooting all day like that, or if I have my camera strapped to me like that, I don't really need to worry about. So that's something else you've got to think about is these electronic bits and these weather resistant parts, are they really made for cameras being held upside down? I don't know. And hip wise, it's not really been that comfortable. Shoulder-wise, great. So I think what I'm going to do from now is I'm going to do it as just a single strap. So if I have to turn it to an RS7 strap. Because um, just now I think for the type of photography that I do, this isn't helpful. There's lots of times where I'm going down into dark locations where I'm needing to take off the bolt, put it onto the tripod, do some uh, video stuff. Uh, and I just think for me, I'm not in a situation where I instantly always need quick that camera, quick that camera. I can just pull out the bag. That's what I think. Okay, so in my next video, 
I've taken the straps so they're not attached anymore by the, the Velcro part anymore. I don't think you're meant to use this side, although I'm sure you probably could. But it says to use the one with the R on it, and it's meant to go over your right shoulder so it's down to your left hip, I think. I think that's how it's meant to work. Like that. So, now, I'll definitely be extending it so it's longer. Let's see if having it as a single strap, I end up liking it a lot more. <laughs> 